Hello friends, this video on fun with magnets part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So with this we have reached towards the end of this lesson. So let us quickly look at some of the questions. Fill in the blanks in the following. Artificial magnets are made in different shapes such as dash and dash. So some of the examples of artificial magnets are bar magnets, horseshoe magnets, cylindrical magnets. The materials which are attracted towards a magnet are called magnetic materials. For example, iron, cobalt, nickel, these are all examples of magnetic materials. Paper is not a dash material. So do you think that paper gets attracted by the magnet? No. So paper is not a magnetic material. In olden days, sailors used to find direction by suspending a piece of dash. What? Magnet. Because magnet has a property that it always aligns in the north-south direction. So that, that can help the sailors to find direction. A magnet always has dash poles. How many poles are present in a magnet? Two. That is north pole and south pole. Question number two. State whether the following statements are true or false. A cylindrical magnet has only one pole. That is false because every magnet has to have two poles. Artificial magnets were discovered in Greece. That is again false because uh, in Greece the first natural magnets were discovered. So I was talking about the place Magnesia. So that's in Greece. I was also talking about the story of Shefford Magnus. So that's also happened in Greece. So natural magnets were discovered in Greece and not the artificial ones. Similar poles of a magnet repel each other. Yes, that's true. And unlike poles attract each other. Maximum iron filings stick in the middle of a bar magnet when it is brought near them. That is false because maximum iron filings are seen towards the end of the magnet. That is where the poles of the magnet are located. Bar magnets always point towards north-south direction. Yes, that's absolutely true and that is why they are used as in navigations. A compass can be used to find east-west direction at any place. So that's again true because the compass will always align in the, if, if it is just left to itself, it will align in the north-south direction. So if you know north, you will be able to find east. So when you know the north direction, so towards the left hand side, you will have west and towards the right hand side, you will have east. So that's how you can find out east-west direction. Rubber is a magnetic material. That's false because rubber doesn't get attracted by a magnet. Question number three. It was observed that a pencil sharpener gets attracted by both the poles of a magnet. Although its body is made of plastic, name a material that might have been used to make some part of it. So all these part of the uh, sharpener is made up of plastic. But when you look at the blade of the sharpener, so this blade is made up of a material like iron and iron is a magnetic material. Therefore, it gets attracted by a magnet. Question number four. Column one shows different positions in which one pole of a magnet is placed near that of the other. Column two indicates the resulting action between them for each situation. Fill in the blanks. So when north and north poles are near, what will happen? Repulsion because like poles repel. So please remember this. Like poles or similar poles repel each other and unlike poles or different poles always attract each other. So, if you want to have attraction, then north should face which pole? South. Similarly, when south faces north pole, what will happen? So, when south faces north pole, there will be attraction. So, repulsion will happen when south faces south pole. Question number five. A bar magnet has... No markings to indicate its poles. How do you find out near which end is its north pole located? So what we do is we just tie that bar magnet to a thread and suspend it freely from a stand. Now when suspended freely, it always aligns itself in the north-south direction. So looking at its alignment, we can find out which end is its north pole. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. 
Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.